Stinky Stories is a new chapter book series for early readers, 6 to 10 years old. It features a stuffed toy skunk who comes to life to reimagine classic children's stories. We'll talk with the authors about the first two books in the series, The Boy Who Cried Underpants and Jack and the Bean Stink. Hi, I'm Dan Skinner, and welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. J.J. Grabenstein is an author, stage actress, and award-winning audiobook narrator. Chris Grabenstein is the award-winning number one New York Times best-selling author of many books for children, plus many other books, plays, and audiobook originals. J.J. and Chris co-authored the acclaimed middle-grade novel, Shine, and they're now collaborating on this new early reader series, Stinky's Stories. They're both co-writing and narrating each book. JJ and Chris, welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. Hey, Thank Dan, you. great to be here with you. Tell us about what inspired this Stinky's Stories series. Well, Stinky's Stories actually started, uh, we for years have done a character, a puppet at our church called Chester the Church Mouse. And kids for almost 20 years have loved it so much that when they get to college, they want Chester to say hi. And I started going, I do a lot of school visits. And when I'm doing school visits, I'll often be with the kids in a school library, and I'm trying to teach them to use their imagination and how to use sort of improvisational techniques to come up with a story. And I'll see all the stuffed animals lined up on a school library bookshelf, and I would spin and make up a story. And I came home and told JJ about that one day, and she said, when she was a kid, she used to have all of her stuffed animals on her bed, and her favorite stuffed animal got to sit up on the pillow to hear the good night story. So we started putting all those ideas together. We said, what if we took that great voice of Chester the church mouse, turned him into a skunk, a stuffy who lives on the shelf of an elementary school library who helps kids use their imagination to create stories. And Stinky has a big imagination. <laughs> he sure does. He sure does. And the stories get very silly and very funny. And we're hoping that if this is the age where kids are just starting to read, that they'll fall in love with reading because this will be so silly talking about smells and skunks and everything that we hope they'll get hooked on reading. And also start using their own imaginations because it's a little, I grew up watching fractured fairy tales and reading mad magazines like what happened after they used to always do these things about fairy tales like well what happened after uh, sleeping beauty got kissed and they would tell you what happened and that's just a great springboard for kids to start telling their own stories because you kind of know the characters you know the setting you know the backstory because that was the story you just read and it's a great place to leap forward and just let your imagination go wild that is the basis of this series that it begins with telling a familiar story, a familiar childhood tale or fairy tale, and then Stinky takes it from there. And in the first book, it's called uh, The Boy Who Cried Underpants. Tell us about it. Well, it starts out the classic, of course, Aesop fable, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. And one of our characters, one of the kids in the classroom, well, we have some very kind children in our... Yes, little Abby, she's an animal lover, much like we are. <laughs> and she's concerned about the sheep, because what happened? I mean, the wolf really did come the last time and the sheep ran away, but what happened to them? Are they okay? So she's very concerned at the end of the story. And that gives Stinky a great springboard to say, don't worry about the sheep. They were disguised. They rolled around in the grass and stained their wool. So they looked like big fluffy shrubs. And then the boy, well, what happened to him? You know, what job in this small village is there going to be for him? And he's got to leave and go to the big city. These are like, there's an old term called shaggy dog stories, where you sort of start out with something and you start adding Christmas tree ornaments to it and adding to it as the story just grows and grows. Now, you mentioned that obviously this is for children. It's an early reader chapter book series. So what age group does that encompass? Our publisher says six to 10. We're thinking like kindergarten through second, third grade, uh, right when kids are learning how to read. And so, you know, we had some, uh, we had to make some, we have a great editor, David Linker at HarperCollins, who made sure that our lexicon, our word choices were right in that, you know, target area. And this is where we want kids to start saying, wow, this reading isn't just, you know, a chore I have to do here at school. It can be a lot of fun. 
Well, in the second book, More Fun Ensues, you've got uh, a take on Jack and the Bean stock. In this case, it's Jack and the Bean stink. Tell us about it. Well, Jack has fallen down. You know, uh, Jack has cut the, the bean stalk, so the giant has fallen down, and he's stuck. What happened to him? <laughs> so one of the kids is like, wait, wait, wait. When Jack goes and robs his house and then cuts down the bean stalk, and what happens then? So it's kind of, again, our kids in this little classroom we've created, I've got some good righteous indignation. Yes. They're like, wait a minute, he robbed the guy. Now the giant's stuck on earth. Well, what happened? And what is kind of fun is Stinky always finds a way to weave himself into the story <laughs> and help out the poor giant is stuck on earth. But he gets him some good jobs, you know, changing light bulbs, adjusting signs on fast food pylons, and eventually playing basketball. He, he, he's the right size for basketball. Definitely. I'm talking with J.J. and Chris Grabenstein about their new Stinky Story series, and our conversation will continue. If you're enjoying this discussion, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I post new interviews. And thank you. Now, this is a book for older kids in terms of it's not a picture book, but it is an illustrated book. So tell us a bit about the illustrator. Well, it's Alex Patrick, and I believe he lives in England, and he's mm -hmm. done a great job of bringing Stinky to life. And uh, the illustrations are really helpful, I think, at this age of reading, because you are transitioning from picture books, Dr. Seuss kind of books, to, okay, now I'm going to read a couple pages, and then I get to look at a picture, and it'll be a picture with like a little funny gag in it. So it gives you a little break. So it, it helps, I think, get kids to enjoying the, the, the concept of reading. Well, it sounds to me like you really enjoy telling these stories because it gives <laughs> you a chance to, you know, sort of get in touch with your inner child and really let your imagination go wild. So tell us a little bit about the creative process here, working together to create these books. Well, we kind of do it where we sit down and we brainstorm the idea and we block out the whole story. Then because I, I'm a typer in the family, I sit down and I'll write like a first rough draft of what we talked about as a chapter. Then I'll give it to JJ and she'll look at it. She comes at it more from an acting point of view. That's true. And voiceover. So I do the voices and we read it out loud. And then we say, no, nah, Stinky wouldn't say that. Let's rewrite it like this. So we figure it out by doing it out loud. And the most fun is when we think it's all done, we sit down here and we read the story out loud. The whole thing. <laughs> and that led us to going, hmm, maybe we'll ask and see if we can do the audiobook. And we did. We got to record the uh, audiobooks for these two uh, stinky stories where you do most of the work and I get to do some of the goofy characters. He does some funny guest stars. He's I get to funny. do like the giant. <laughs> I get to do the giant. It's very funny. <laughs> Well, you're great as Stinky. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you were, uh, JJ, you were able to draw upon your acting experience and your experience as a book narrator mm -hmm. for this. It was Is it fun doing it with your spouse? Because I know often if you're doing a book narration, you're just in the studio by yourself. The plan was I was going to do it by myself. And when we when we thought we were done with the book and we said, okay, let's work on this now. Let me get the characters. And I started doing Mr. Stuffington, who's a very stuffy, stuffed bear. And I just, and Chris said, no, no, do it like this. And I said, you know, I'm never going to get it to sound like you do because you have this deep voice. Why don't we ask them if you can do it with me? So that's how it happened. And we loved it. We loved working together. Because I have a little bit of a background, not as much as JJ, but I did improvisational comedy for five years. We had a guy named Bruce Willis in our troupe. Robin Williams used to perform with us. So, and I wrote advertising and I, I wouldn't be surprised to see if I showed up in some of my own radio commercials <laughs> from time to time because I like doing goofy voices. Yeah. So it was very fun to do it together. So what is it you enjoy about writing for kids? What, what does that do for you in terms of a, a mission you might have about the value of children's books? Well, I, growing up, was what they called a reluctant reader, which I meant I did not want to read the broccoli books that everybody said were good for me. <laughs> read this book. Oh, it's got such great descriptions in it. But if you wrote a story that got like the movie projector going in my brain, where it was like a cliffhanger and action packed and it was fun and fast paced, then I would devour those books. So I, I kind of started just writing for the kid that I used to be. And it's turned out because I have a Oh, about 50 other books for older kids, ages 8 to 12. But it turns out, I guess I have a, 
I'm, I'm 12 years old in my brain. In a good and, way. And, I'm, and we just love writing for kids. They're a lot of fun, especially this kindergarten through third grade. I've done a couple assemblies with my picture books, and we sort of test run Stinky uh, at my niece's daughter's school <laughs> in Pittsburgh. And it was it's such fun because those kids, they greet you like rock stars when you walk into the school. And if they're in line to get their books signed, they're hugging the books. So it's just a tremendous fun, and it keeps us young. That's true. And anything we can do to encourage reading, we're both really big on libraries and literacy and getting kids reading. And we hope these books are kind of an entry point. So what's next for Stinky and Friends? Well, we've got two more coming. Where are they called? I always ah, forget the next the one is The Three Smelly Goats Gruff, and then we have Moldy Locks and the Three Bears. And the Three Smelly Goats Gruff, the kids are again worried. You know that story about the three billy goats and the big one knocks the troll off the bridge and he plops into the water and the kids go, oh, what, what, what happened, happened to the troll? That, the, the bridge was his house. Where's he going to live? Can he what, swim? What, can he swim <laughs> even? Can he hold his breath underwater? <laughs> so Stinky says, don't worry. Once again, Stinky caught up with the with the troll and he he, he got him uh, things straightened out and then moldy locks is a little different because the kids all go well that that mold goldy locks when they hear the real story she's kind of a brat you know she barges into people's homes uses their beds and their porridge and breaks their chairs and just goes by see ya <laughs> never says can i come in please thank you she just if you read the story she just hops out the window and runs <laughs> home and so again our third graders in that we have in our on our story rug in our school library like wait a minute, that's not right <laughs> so she gets a little bit of a curse put on her her, her golden locks become moldy locks the first two books in the Stinky Story series are The Boy Who Cried Underpants and Jack and the Beanstink by J.J. and Chris Grabenstein. J.J. and Chris, thank you for talking with me today. Thanks so much for having us. Thanks for inviting us in. Now, if you'd like to purchase these books in the Stinky Story series, I've placed a link for you in the description below. If you enjoyed this discussion, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I post new interviews. And meanwhile, here are two more books you might find interesting. Thank you for watching this edition of the Kids Bookshelf. I'm Dan Skinner. Until next time, keep sharing the gift of reading. <laughs>